think skiing really represented freedom for for us, you know, for, for kids when they're young and they finally get to ride the lift on their own and explore the entire mountain. So skiing in the in the early days of course was just blissful, let's say, fun and and then it became more of a of um you know, pursuit of excellence and more hard work, but at the same time really, you know, an opportunity to chase a dream, which was what anyone can I think anybody can only hope for is to be able to follow their dream and I was given that opportunity so I think that I seized it. Yeah, all kids actually basically all kids start out in slalom and giant slalom and then uh, as they progress some of them decide to specialize in the speed events down or super G or some want to stay in the slalom and GS side and for the most part before in, in Canadian ski history let's say most of the better athletes have always gone to the downhill side and uh, the dark side. <laughs> but uh, I, for a number of reasons, my family was pushed me to go towards the technical side and injury when I was 16 years old in downhill. So a few different factors really made it clear to me that I was a, more of a technical skier and that's what I wanted to pursue. And the fact that no Canadians have been very successful in those disciplines made it that much more appealing and challenging to me. It was quite a time. I, I, like I said, I was getting near the twilight of my career, let's say, and I still didn't have a victory, which is something I was really, you know, striving for, one of my major goals in my career. So uh, going into Alta Badia in Italy, I, before every race, I had, of course, my pre-race rituals and routines, and, and that one in particular, I was really focusing on the fact that each race was an opportunity. And, possibly one of the last opportunities. So I really committed to just being completely in the present and skiing the very best from top to bottom both runs with a great focus and and it just happened to come together and it, there's like a magic that you have in giant slalom when your equipment and your body and everything is like one. And that's finally something that happened, you know, to the highest level for me during those two back-to-back -back races in Italy and Austria. Well, it's, it's, a, it's quite an honor to be recognized as, uh, I guess you would say, one of a, a great Alberta sportsman. And uh, I, at times you feel like when you're racing in the World Cup, you're alone in Europe and no one's paying attention. But uh, it's nice to come back and be recognized and inducted into the Alberta Sports Hall.